Hello everybody, welcome to Trans e-learning chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about Boyle's law and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to Boyle's law. First question. We need to recall the steps, read the question properly. A human adult breathes in approximately 0.50 decimeter cube of air at one bar with each breath. Now this is a human adult and he is using an air tank to inhale the air. The air is entering at the pressure of one bar. He is inhaling the air at the pressure of one bar and with every breath he is inhaling 0 0.050 decimeter cube of air. If an air tank holds 100 decimeter cube of air at 200 bar, the volume of the tank is 100 decimeter cube. If you analyze uh, that here we have 200 bar pressure which is inside the tank. This pressure is inside the tank, right? And as the air flows from the tank to this person, the pressure gets reduced to 1 bar. So that means this human is inhaling the air at the pressure of 1 bar whereas inside the cylinder it is stored at 200 bar. So we need to find how many breaths the tank will supply. This human uh, is able to inhale how many breaths of air using this cylinder. So let's see what is given and what needs to be found. I have taken uh, the volume and the pressure of the air tank as initial pressure and volume. Why? Because the air is flowing from the container, from the tank into the human. Human adult is inhaling the air at one bar. So this uh, pressure is getting reduced when it moves out of this cylinder. First of all, to find the how many breaths the tank will supply, we have to find the volume of the air this human is inhaling at one bar pressure, the total volume of the air. As the temperature is constant, so we can apply the boil law and we can uh, use this Boyle's law equation. For substituting the value we have to first of all check uh, the units. The initial unit is bar that is the pressure inside this uh, air tank and when the pressure moves uh, outside it, it is in given in same units that is P2 is also in bar. The units are same so we need not to do any kind of conversion. We'll be just substituting the values. Pressure 1 is 200 bar and the volume 1 is 100 decimeter cube. Pressure 2 is 1 bar and the volume 2 we need to find. So the volume 2 will be 200 bar into 100 decimeter cube upon 1 bar. Units of the pressure will get nullified and this will come out to be 20,000 decimeter cube. This is the total volume of air the human adult will inhale. Now with every breath the human adult is inhaling about 0 0.50 decimeter cube. So to find the total number of the breaths the tank can sub supply or the person can inhale. So what we're going to do is take the total volume of the air which we have found it and we will divide this by volume of air taken in each breath. So that means we will be dividing 20,000 decimeter cube by 0 0.50 decimeter cube. Here the units of volume will get nullified and we will just uh, get a simple number, the total number of breaths. So if we divide, we will get the value 40,000. That means this tank can supply about 40,000 breaths to this person. Is the second question. 675 ml of a gas is at a pressure of 8 atmosphere. I am writing the volume as 635 milliliter is at a pressure of 8 atmosphere. What is the volume of the gas at STP? And when we are talking about STP, we'll be taking the pressure at as 1 atmosphere and 
can convert one atmosphere into different units using the conversion units of pressure as I've discussed earlier. Let's see first of all what is given and what needs to be fine. The pressure one is 8 atmosphere and the volume one is 635 milliliter. The pressure got reduced and we need to find the volume of the gas at STP that means at standard temperature and pressure and at STP the pressure will be one atmosphere. So we need to find the corresponding volume related to this pressure. Now check the units. Here I have to take pressure to you in atmosphere and even the pressure one is also in atmosphere so the units are same. We need not to convert any units. We will just substitute the values into the Boyle's-Law equation. As the temperature is constant, so definitely we can apply the Boyle's-Law equation. This pressure 1 into volume 1 is equals to pressure 2 into volume 2. I will just substitute the values. The pressure 1 is 8 atmosphere and the volume 1 is 635 milliliter. The pressure 2 is 1 atmosphere and the volume 2 we need to find. So the volume 2 will be 8 atmosphere into 635 milliliter divided by 1 atmosphere. Now the units of the atmosphere, uh, that is pressure, will get nullified and uh, we will get the volume 2 as uh, 8 into 635 milliliter. So the volume 2 will uh, come out to be 5080 milliliter. This is the volume corresponding to one atmosphere. If you can see uh, when the pressure was more, the volume was less. When the pressure got reduced, the volume is more. So pressure is inversely proportional to volume, which is Boyle's law. In case, you know, if you want to write this volume into a liter, you have to do just extra step. You need to uh, just divide this by thousand. So when we're dividing this with thousand, this will come out to be 5.08 liter. Now, if you want to round up, simply write as six liter. So, you know, that depends upon uh, in which form uh, the answer is demanded. So this was the volume corresponding to one atmosphere pressure. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.